I should mention two important international symposium or conference. One is the Tokyo Taipei Seoul TTS conference, which started, we, we started in 1998 in, here in Taipei. And so between, first we had the Tokyo Taipei or Taipei Tokyo uh, conference uh, for, for these two countries uh, discussion of the EP people and we had a very excited, exciting uh, meeting and have a good discussion among these uh, peoples. And then the 2006 uh, Korean team uh, by the Dr. Uh, Sanson Kim and uh, Professor Yang Hun Kim joined us and uh, so we three countries, uh, EP groups, uh, become very acquainted with each other and we know how and uh, what levels of their achievement. And this is very important to have such a conference and also we know how to manage international symposium conference. The another issue is we have uh, Asia Pacific uh, ATRE Five Relations Symposium, APAFs, which was started in 2005 in Seoul by Samsung Kim and uh, Yang Hun Kim. And second meeting, Yesaka and myself organized in Tokyo. And third one is organized by Professor Sian Chen in tai Taipei, 2006. On that occasion, we get together again and discuss about the organization of Asia Pacific Heart Rhythm Societies. Um, hello, I'm Dr. Teo Wisiong from Singapore. It's a pleasure to introduce to you that the APHRS first started in 2008. I think with the efforts of uh, everyone, uh, especially uh, Professor Chen Xian from uh, Taipei, Professor Hiraoka, Professor Yang Hong Kim, and with all their support, uh, we managed to start the first uh, APHRS scientific session in Singapore in 2008. As an immediate past president of APHRS and a former host of the APHRS conference held in Beijing 2009. I'm well aware of the significance of such a conference to the advancement of the field of electric physiology in the local area, the Asia Pacific region, and the, the entire world. And uh, I was elected as uh, first president because maybe I, I'm the most senior person among these people. And also we, we nominated several you know, board members and also some countries to ask them to join. In the arrhythmia field or heart rhythm disorders field, we have to be three important organizations, HRS, ELA and APHRS. So I, I hope APHRS will be leading among these three uh, organizations throughout all the world, you know, uh, field of arrhythmia and uh, heart rhythm disorders. So that, that young people become more actively involved. And uh, so from the, our you know, discovery or our discussion and our, the fruits get, get from, from the APHRS will become the leading theory or concept or practical leadership for the throughout the worldwide. This is my, you know, ex expectation for the future of the APHRS. It was my great pleasure to be the presence of Asian Pacific Heart Disease Society on the year 2012 and the year 2013 after the presence of Hidaoka. We also host the Asian Pacific Heart Disease Scientific Session on the year of 2012 in Taipei, Taiwan. In that conference, 
have more than 2,500 people attended that conference. On the year 2013, the scientific session was held in Hong Kong, and Professor Xi Pi Lao, he was the Congress president. More than 3,000 people attended the scientific session in Hong Kong. From my memory, I still remember within the two years, the academic exchange is very frequently within the Asian Pacific country. And we also have a lot of mutual exchange with the Heart Leader Society and the European Heart Association. That uh, is a wonderful time. I have opportunity to collaboration with the Asian Pacific Heart Leader country the leader and also the two society from the United States and the European countries. Okay, 2014 in New Delhi, in the APHRS, was the great challenge the, for us. The, we like to promote the, our the, the APHRS through the, I think one of the biggest country, in the, the next to the, the China and the India is the huge population, and also the, like the, the big jump and uh, try to equalize and the EP science in the India uh, through the, our the APHR scientific session there. So uh, when I was president, I think you know, I can give the square the B plus, not, not fully satisfied, but we tried to provide and the best the science, scientific session thanks to the many the Indian EP leader like the, the Mohan Nair and you know, many organizers. So we had a great uh, opportunity and also the many and the very interesting session and the public awareness that the, the in parallel with our scientific session. So uh, I think it's, that's the great challenge and also the uh, we experience different climate, different environment from the, and, uh, in our inner circle of Asia. But, the India meeting was a great challenge and another the great moment and breakthrough for the APHRN. So when I was in the president, we the, the selected the venue of the APHR a little bit far. And the, the Melbourne, Australia, that you rem remember is amazing. The, and also the, the climate and the season is completely opposite, but we really enjoyed in the October uh, season in uh, Melbourne, Australia, and, uh, at the cost of a long distance trip and a very high cost, but everybody like to go to Australia for uh, our the exchange, our friendship, and also the, the wonderful venue of the Melbourne city as well. So I think that's a great memory for us. So the, the, not only the, our scientific session, we really enjoyed uh, all I think environment and the people and the food and every day, every night we enjoyed the wine and the talking with the people in Melbourne and the APHRS, all members. So that's the great thing in the platform for us in the Melbourne. So I, I have to go to Melbourne again and without any scientific talk and <laughs> only the journey. Great. Yeah, I'm, I'm very honored and also great pleasure to, uh, to be part of the APHRS Foundation and also the, uh, the, to the think about and the, for the future of the APHRS. APHRS should be the great platform for our the young EP scientists in the, across the, all the Asia Pacific area and also networking with the other the major society as well. Then also in the Asia, not like the, the United States and the Europe, we are very heterogeneous. High developed and the underdeveloped and the middle side and then the country size also is completely different. So we should have our own data, registry, and the international collaboration, and then to I think, stimulate an EP underdeveloped country to 
to make the very similar science level in, in our region. That's the, our great mission and vision and also the, the scientific session is not just the, uh, some, the scientific talk and also the good platform of sharing our vision for the future. We don't know what is to come for the future. The AI and the precision medicine, and the, I think in the EP field, it will be the, so diverse, very difficult to predict, but I think the, every year we should have the, the, have the future perspective so for the young people, the stimulation. I think that's the, the one of the, the great mission of the APHRS. And also long last our friendship and the, our, I think in the partnership will never die. That's the very important. Last year, we had a very successful scientific conference in Japan. We have seen all the hard work and effort from Japan colleagues and the APHS representatives. The APHS is a young and a vibrant organization. In recent years, thanks to everyone's effort and participation, we have done a great job in raising our international influence. The APIs has effectively and significantly contributed to the advancement of the field through our numerous activities, including our conferences, training program, and our participating in establishing international guidelines. One of our most important tasks each year is this scientific conference, which has been held in many countries and regions now. We show the expression thank Dr. Chio for the success of the first ever APHR scientific conference in Singapore, which have a role for us to follow. Since then, many countries and regions have been glad to host the APHR scientific conference each year, and we have seen continuous growth in our contents, participants, and influence. Among so many international society and their conferences to achieve so much in such a short time is so great. We show the great attraction of APHIs and the strength of our society. We're all very excited about the 11th uh, APHRS meeting that is going to be in Taipei now for the second time. Uh, APHRS has been growing every year and we're very uh, excited and very looking forward to the meeting in Taipei. I have some brief things to say. We've got uh, over 300 scientific sessions, uh, 25 concurrent sessions, uh, 600 invited faculty and over 3,000 expected attendees. So we really think this is going to be a wonderful and dynamic meeting and we're looking forward to seeing you all in Taipei in 2018. It is my great pleasure and honor to host this year Asian Pacific Heart Leader Scientific Session in Taipei, Taiwan. Besides the wonderful scientific program you can enjoy, we also wish you have the best time to stay in Taipei, Taiwan. In the Taipei city, we have several important spots you can visit and also you can enjoy the wonderful cuisine in Taipei city. I hope all of you can have a very good memory after you attend this conference. <laughs>